Yeah, I really like this. This might be my new go-to. <laughs> Hey guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be trying out the eavesdrop skin tint by fenty beauty i haven't even opened it yet this is going to be my first time trying and i'm excited so this is supposed to be sweat and water resistant it's a light to medium coverage for all skin tones of course i went with the number 20 and I believe this is what's gonna work for me now, but as it gets warmer and I'm outside, I might have to go a shade darker. So I'm hoping this is perfect for me. It's small, so that's gonna make it easier to travel with. And it is plastic. This is also supposed to layer really well with skin products and anything else that you put on your face before you go to put it put on the blurring skin tint. It's supposed to give you like a, you know, look like your skin, but just a little bit better. Like you have like a little filter over it, the blurring. It doesn't sound like too liquidy. So we're about to see right now. I'm gonna go ahead and prime with Fenty Beauty before we get into the actual skin tint. I don't have anything else on my face right now. So I have my dish right here so we can see the consistency of the product. And as you can see, it's not really liquidy. It runs, but it's not too, you know, like really watery. I like to apply my foundations with a brush, so that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. But I'm sure you can use a sponge as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and Start covering. Ooh. The color seems good for me right now. I like the way it matches. It feels very, very lightweight. And it is like instantly covering it. Even though it's a light to medium coverage, it is covering on my face as you can see. Like it makes a big difference. If you look, it still looks like, you know, myself, my skin, but just better. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this side. I don't know why I haven't really got into putting on my foundation with a sponge, cause I know a sponge is supposed to make it look more um, natural. I'm just so used to putting it on with the brush, that's just my go-to. But I do put on like my concealer and everything with a sponge. I'm not gonna go all the way back to my hair right now. You can kind of see where I need to, but just showing you guys my face. I don't know if the light is making it look a little different, but me looking in the mirror, I actually like how it looks on my face. So that was just a light coat. As you can see how much I dropped onto the dish in the beginning, I did that twice and that covered my whole face. Um, you could build this up a little bit, but not much because the consistency is so thin. It really is meant for just medium coverage, but it does just enough. This is a really good everyday foundation for your face, especially for like the warmer months that are coming. It's supposed to be water and sweat resistant. I don't know how well that's gonna go, especially me living in Las Vegas. I'd have to wear it a couple times to let you guys know like to a pool party or something. And that will really let me know if it is sweat resistant. This is just with that on. Nothing else is on my face except the Fenty primer. And I do like it. It's a lot different than my other 
foundation that I wear by her, which is the Pro Filter Soft Matte. So this is super thick compared to this one. This is more for every day. So I'm gonna go ahead and see what it looks like to set with her Pro Filter Instant Retouch. It really does remind me of a BB cream. Whoa. It reminds me of a BB cream and I do like wearing BB creams more than anything because I like to look like I have makeup on but not a whole lot. So my go-to look is always a natural look. This might be my new go-to. Yeah, setting it gives it more of a I like a matte finish. I know a lot of people, everyone is different, but I like a matte finish because I get so oily throughout the day. This is really a go-to face that I would do, you know, to go run around. Like I would really just like leave the house. So I'm gonna go ahead and add concealer with it just to see how it would look as a full daytime face that I would usually do. And I'm gonna be using her Instant Retouch Concealer. And I'm using 410 and 380. 410 is a lot closer to my skin tone and then 380 is, is the lightest version that's going to give me more of my highlight and I saw like a new technique that everyone has been doing when they've been leaving a space in between for concealer so this is how it would look where you put some here this is you're taking the lighter one first and light on the inner corner and it's just really gonna like lift your eye up. Well, the whole face, because if your eyes are lifted, your whole face looks lifted. So I'm just gonna come on this edge, put some there, and then in the inner corner where it's the darkest. So this is how it would look, but I'm going to do what I've seen Jackie Ina do, which is brilliant because you don't wanna leave this center part empty so you put the concealer that more matches your skin in the middle for some reason on camera it's, it looks all one but this is darker this is what I use day to day because it looks like almost nothing and then you blend this out so I'm just gonna take a sponge and start blending And it's just gonna give you more of an everyday concealed look. Actually, I would use this at night too because I never like the super white under eye. That's why I have a darker version because usually I'll conceal with a color that's lighter than me but kind of close to me. But you see, it just kind of lifts you up but doesn't make it look too crazy you know like the white houses underneath so this would be the under eye look and I'm just gonna go ahead and still set with the same powder nothing too crazy And then I'm going to take the 410 color, which is the color closer to my skin tone. And I'm just gonna highlight under my brows. People always ask me how I do my brows. And this is all I do. I take a little concealer and I just come underneath and outline my brow to my shape. I mean, outline the concealer to my brow. And then I just drag it down a little. You don't have to do too much, cause I know people like to really carve out their brows, but I just feel like underneath just gives it that pop to make them look freshly done, but still look natural. And this is pretty much what I do day and night. 
and I always get complimented on my brows. And this is all I do, super easy. And when I did, before I had my brows microbladed, so I would fill them in and I would do this exact same thing. So now I just skip the filling in my brows because they're already filled in naturally. I mean, not naturally, but they're already filled in. So that's how my brows look after. And then I'll just take a smaller fluffy brush and just set that. So I like how my face, I, I feel like, do I look shiny? <laughs> I don't know, it looks really good though. Like, I would definitely wear this every day for sure. So now I'm just gonna take Mocha Mommy and just add a little bit of contour, just really lightly. It's a powder, so. On days that I'm just doing a daytime look and I'm just going out for the day, I just contour with powder, but if it was night, I would use a cream and then set it with the powder. But today, this is just a daytime look, so I'm just gonna go in with the powder. Come around my forehead. I'm gonna add some highlight with the cognac candy. And I love this. this is so pretty just add a little shimmer So far the face does look really matte on me, but I think that's just cause I set it with the powder. And I love a matte, if you don't like a matte face, maybe you don't wanna set it with such a mattifying powder. You might wanna use like a spray or something like that just to keep that dewy look. Now I'm just gonna do my bottom lashes with her mascara full frontal. Since the eavesdrop is long wear and sweat resistant, I think it will do really good underneath the mask because it's thin, it won't move as much. And you know, because it's getting warmer, you're probably gonna sweat, so hopefully less will be taken off your face. So I'm just gonna put on a stunner paint. This one is called Uncuffed and it's just like a mauve nude. I have not yet worn this one, but I have tried these before and they were great. You don't even need a lip liner, you can just trace your lips and it goes on perfect. When you first put it on, it's really wet, but then it kind of just dries like a lipstick. So just let that dry. So this is a full daytime face using the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop. Yeah, I really like this. This might be my new go-to. This product is priced really well. I believe it's $29.95, which basically is $30. It's 1.8 fluid ounces, so you can travel with it, you know, just throw it in your bag. I definitely do recommend this product, especially because the summer is coming. I'll list all the products that I use today down below and the colors that I got for myself, just in case you are the same skin tone as me, you know what to look for when you go into a store. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.